want to be with your father. Daddy! No, he can't help you anymore, Faith. And it's all your fault. No, you. No, no, I like Dr. Coleridge. He was nice to me. You! No, not me! You, you screamed. You called for him. You sent him up to the roof. You hurt him. It's your fault. You're a wicked person. Wicked! That's not so. Oh, yes. Yes. Your father loved you, Faith. I loved you. And look what you've done to us. Uh, no more tricks! You can't get away, you know. <laughs> Don't say anything. Just let me do what's necessary. All right, Kenneth. Uh, Move, Faith, to the right. Uh, get off! I'm not going to hurt you, Kenneth. Don't come near me! You come to me, okay? No. Now you lock me up. No, no, I'll take you to somebody who can help you. <gasps> yes. Yes, like they helped my mother. We'll make you all better, Mrs. C Mrs. Castle. What they did was make her cry. They made her forget me. They do awful things to her, and she never tells me. She just stares. We're strangers. Kenneth, I promise you it won't be like that. I promise you. <laughs> of course it will. You're not talking to a child, Detective Reed. I know why that policeman's with you. He's just standing there, standing still. Isn't that right, Tony? Sure. Just here in case I'm needed. Right. See? No weapon. No keys to the jail. Nothing to harm you, kid. See? <laughs> You have no idea how to deal with an intelligent man, do you? You think I'm trapped, don't you? But you're quite wrong. Now, Kenneth, stay away from that window. Faith, I'll be back. I'll come back again and again and again until you're properly punished. Tony, you better get down there. 